Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesperson. This is Rohit and today I'm going to discuss about what is the sales for DX MCP server and how it is work if you are working with the Salesforce and want to easier way to manage your code deployment and details of your org. So this video for you or if you are struggling about these things regarding the sales for DX and MCP server. So this video for you. Okay, so before starting this video, I will tell you one thing if you are new in this channel so please like share comment subscribe the channel also turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never miss any kind of update from my side okay so let's get started without any further delay so here is a small overview regarding the mcp servers and the integration with the salesforce dx and llms dx have this capability to use this mcp server so before that what is mcp server mcc server is a kind of the usb hub and you can connect this server with your uh, salesforce or any kind of external application without any you know integrations or without any code it's a pre-built functionality right and if someone want to build these all things you can build it and use it anywhere as you want okay and it's easy to integrate with the salesforce dx project okay so what is the mcp server is this is the full form like a model context protocol is the mcp server and it's a bridge between the salesforce and the llms okay and the uh, mcp tool set have lots of things like core functionality have sf get username then org sf list all orgs and then data sf query org users assign the permission set metadata deployment and the testing so we can test our agent force agent and as well as apex test using this kind of tool sets okay so how we can set up this mcp server with sales for dx project very simple and very easy so first of all you have to open your vs code and you can create this mcp.json file under dot vs code folder i will show you within a seconds so please watch this video until end if you want to learn these all things right so don't skip any part of this video so here this is the way to create the mcp.json file inside the .vs code folder and you have to use these kind of you know json and this is mcp json configuration file after that you have to start your mcp server in vs code so let's see in the action this one so here you can see my vs code and just open the explorer under dot vs code folder is a by default created by the you know whenever you create the lightning web component or you know any sfdx project then you will be see this kind of folder structure right so under dot vs code we have this mcp.json okay and in this json file have the server and this is the salesforce right and typo studio command npx argo these all things so this is the configuration file you have to keep in your mind how we can configure as a you know default org or you know all orgs okay i will show you the best practice as well in salesforce using this mcp server okay so let's see once you configure this file right after that you can see your mcp server is available or not how we can see that Control shift p and search like um, mcp list server here you can see lots of server i have already integrated lots of server that's why you can see here but you have to focus on the salesforce one because it's uh, under the vs code slash mcp.json right once you see this one it means our configuration is done now we have to start our server so before starting the server you have to do one thing just open the you know this command like uh, chat open chat agent and you will be seeing the right panel add it with the copilot this is the agent mode you have to change your mode as an agent without agent maybe might not be work in your case but you have to select as an agent here right so now here you can see the start nine tools and more more you can see the start server so configuration so output and all all the things so don't worry about it just it's an automatic configure here right just you have to start your server like start and now it's time you can see your server is running and here i can give my you know prompt as a nlp natural language processing 
or any kind of user can enter this sentence and you know prompt and get the answer so let's say show me the og okay so it's a simple one and now you can see the reference coming from you know this mcp.json and default org and a placeholder these all things i need the details it's a simple it's showing like it's a default org i need details so show me the details of this org like that and it's ran the list of here you can see the details immediately you can see the details like alias name agent project username instance they have org id everything okay let's see another example let's say show me the 10 account records records and now immediately you will be see the 10 record and it's, it's, here you can see the run query org or it's a query you know parameter it's asking the query that's why you can see this query one mcp previously it was list of all org okay so here you can see the 10 of account records immediately comes here and also you can get all the information regarding the metadata as well let's say i want to deploy my apex class so this is my apex class here like uh, employee test and another one this one this is the employee class right in the org as well you can see the list one two three as a label so let me open the apex class immediately here in my O, and once you open it you can see like a list one two three as a label right but i want to change like a, as a get employee list only so i just remove it how to deploy it so you can simply just type like a, deploy this class deploy this class simple one only some few you know sentences and it's uh, deploy your metadata from your local to salesforce org now you can see the employee controller class has been successfully deployed and you can check in your org as well so let's see previously it was like get employee list one two three let me refresh it and let's see the changes is deployed or not so here you can see our class here and it's successfully deployed and it's a latest label here get employee list right so let's see another one let me you know run the test class so this mcp server is capable to run the apex class as well as agent test right i will create lots of video regarding the uh, agent how we can create the agent using sfdx or you know how to run the agent how to see and how we can test our agent using this mcp server with sales 40x in future video you will be see these all things okay but for now this is a some overview regarding the mcp server with the sales 4dx so please keep in your mind this okay so let's see run the employee test class so this is my employee test class right so run this test class something like that so let's see in the action uh, what will be the output so we have to take care about it so here you can see the run apex test so this is the mcp server is running for this command right so just continue and after some time you will be see that tick mark it means successfully ran the class or run the command here so it's still you have to wait it and after that we will see here like it's successfully deployed and here outcome passed test run one fail charge zero and the code coverage of the employee control is 100 percent you can see it means you can just you know run the apex test class without opening any kind of id developer console or you know any kind of you know hustles right so no need to worry about like here and there go to the particular id or you know developer console and run the specific apex class no just only few seconds you will be get your apex class code coverage everything in a single window so no need to change your id like that okay so this is how you can use this mcp server so let's see in the slide so we already configure it like we already started this one now it's time to use this one like uh, set of other clients so in upcoming video you will be see my you know configuration for the cards and ends line in my linkedin post you will be see these all configurations and the some you know gif images i already posted so you can reach out them as well 
like cursor and slain configurations. So very simple, just you have to create your configuration file inside the cursor or slain ID and this is the configurations like this. Okay, so let's see, like demo we already seen like list of orgs, query accounts, deploy metadata and the test class, right? And use cases, what is the use cases and benefits of the MCP with Salesforce? So simplify complex or task, reduces scripting efforts, enable conversational automations. It's a very useful for us. There's some limitation and consideration. Developer preview, required CLI setup and or authorization, limited to support Salesforce tool. It's still MCP server is still in beta. So don't worry about like you have to implement your project. No, it's still in beta. You have to wait until Salesforce announce as an official version of this MCP server, then you can use it. So right now don't use it just for your practice purpose or knowledge purpose, you can use it otherwise leave it. Okay, so the best practices of the MCP server to implement in C Salesforce to avoid allow all orgs. So don't give this uh, parameter in your you know, JSON file, mcp.json file, like allow all orgs. If you need, you can give it, otherwise not give. This is not best practice, I'll always consider as all orgs. Okay, so always keep in as a default org and use minimal tool set, monitor repo for the updates, provide feedback via GitHub. Okay, so Salesforce already have this GitHub accounts and all the MCP servers, so you can reach out that one as well. If you want, I will share the link in the description if you want, otherwise you can learn yourself as well. So this is how you can leverage this MCP server with Salesforce DX project. So guys, I hope you learned something new in this video. If you feel like this is a very more informative for us, so please like, share, comment, subscribe the channel, also turn on the bell icon for more updates. You never be miss any kind of update from my side. So till then, bye bye, take care, see ya. Thank you for watching guys.